Back in the early days of my channel, I did quite a few bacon kitchen items in the ASEAN TV genre. I haven't done one for a while, but I recently caught wind of one that looks pretty interesting. It's called the Wow Bacon. Supposedly makes bacon in the microwave, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. All right, so what caught my attention on the Wow Bacon is the fact that it's a strange looking gadget and that's kind of what I like to do. So without any further delay, let's get right to the Wow Bacon and see how it looks. You might think this is some sort of a, a small container for water or to water your plants, but no, this is the actual bacon cooker itself. There really is not much to it. It has a couple of clips here. And then you have this rack, which allows you to hold six pieces of bacon that they hang off there and just a cup. So there's really three parts, rack, lid, cup. Very simple. So there's three dots on the top of the lid here. That when the rack is inserted, it kind of shows you how to take it out and put it in. First thing you're supposed to do is load the bacon on each one of these six slots here. They say six slices in four minutes. Let's see. Load bacon fat side in. Here we go. I know there's a lot of bacon purists out there. I wonder what the bacon purists think about microwaving bacon. Some people seem to like it, some people don't. All right, so we just, just kind of drape it on there like that. It almost looks like you're decorating some sort of like bacon Christmas tree. If a bacon Christmas tree doesn't exist, it probably should. All right, okay, there's the last piece. This is very strange looking. This is definitely kind of odd. It's a rack of bacon. The next step's important. I think a lot of people that have reviewed this in the past have done this wrong because you're not supposed to just put it in the cup like this. You're supposed to attach the lid first. All right, and line up with the two dots here. All right, now lower it into the cup. I feel like I'm gonna drink some uh, like bacon flavored drink here or something. All right, it snapped into place. We're ready to go. How strange. Well, there'll be no splatter. I guess that's, that's one, definitely a good thing. And we're off. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out and that's kind of part of the fun, isn't it? It's already making some crackling sounds in there. So that's, I guess that's a good sign. So I'll come back in four minutes and see how it looks. And here we go. I don't hear any sizzling. Okay, well the handle is not hot. Now the instructions do say to adjust as needed. So this might end up being just kind of a tester run if it's not right, but let's check it out. Here we go. It smells like bacon. Push the clips down. This part's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. Let me see, lift it out. Oh, wow. Oh, it's steaming. Oh, and there's a lot of grease in there. Wow, ouch. It's kind of warm. Bacon definitely shrunk, but it looks cooked. Yummy bacon grease. All right, so let me detach this lid here. All right, and here, here is the final product. Oh, it kind of, it kind of stuck together. Maybe I should have put it a little bit further out. Oh, well, you know what? That's, that's pretty done. Let me pull those off here and take a little closer look. Does the folded effect bother you or no? Is it crispy enough? What do you think? I actually have not had bacon for a while. <sighs> hmm. Now there's definitely differences of opinion of what entails perfect bacon. Some people like it crispier, some people like it flimsier. This is kind of right in the middle. Beside the fact that it's folded over like that, which really isn't that big of a deal to me, it came out perfect. Now there's differences of opinion about what makes a perfect bacon. There's also difference of opinion whether or not turkey bacon should even be in that category, but I'm gonna try this anyways. Also, one important step on the instructions is to say to dump the grease out in between sessions. I'm gonna do right there. Now, there really isn't no fat, fat side to put inward, so I guess I'll just put it however. These are much wider pieces too, whoa. Much wider. All right, there we go. Well, that's, a, that's a lot thicker. It's a beautiful decoration. You could just put that in your house without even cooking it. It just looks nice, doesn't it? Lid on. It's a very interesting looking product. I'm glad, I'm glad I've tried it out. Gotta make sure you don't have any meat hanging over here. Gotta watch your meat.
So the turkey bacon supposedly cooks a little bit faster, so I put it in for only three minutes. I could have gone down about 2.30, but I want it a little bit crispier, so I'm trying three to see what happens again. I've got more if this doesn't work out, but my first batch went well. See how the turkey bacon does in about three minutes. Only a second time through, I feel like a pro at this. Oh, wow. I do notice that when you lift it up, if you're not, if you're not holding the handle on the lower end of it, if you hold up here, gonna get some steam on your hands. Let's see here. Well, again, turkey bacon seems to be a bit of a source of debate about what, how it should be cooked or if it even qualifies as bacon. But this is the three minute mark. I mean, it looks pretty cooked to me. Mmm. Solo cup, anybody? Now, I'll admit, I'm not a huge turkey bacon consumer, so I'm probably a little bit more lenient about what I like and don't like. This is a little bit more flimsy. This is only three minutes. I don't know. What do you think? Is that an acceptable turkey bacon or not? Let me try it out. Mmm. It's cooked. I'm going to try another round of the regular bacon. There's people out there that like really crispy bacon. I'm going to go, I'm going to go longer on the time. I'm going to see what happens if I just crank it up a little bit. I don't think anything will go wrong, but I'm going to put it in there longer than the four minutes and see how it goes. I'm also going to try to put them a little bit closer to the edge so they don't touch as much. Taking this very seriously here. The original instructions said four minutes. I think I'm going to go Four and a half? Five? Should I go five minutes? What would happen in five minutes? Let's find out. That could be a very bad idea, but I know there's people out there that like almost burnt bacon, so I'm gonna see if I can find a solution to those fans out there with a much higher cook time. I don't know if five minutes is too long, but we're about to find out. Oh, wow. There is steam coming off this thing. It looks cooked. If you like bacon, it's a very attractive sight. And here's what we got. It looks like a, a Christmas decoration to me. All right, here we go. These definitely look uh, crispier than the first batch. First batch, second batch. Let me try the second batch now. Hmm, I'm crispier. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think that's all I really need to do as far as testing it out, because it definitely seems to work. Really, the only thing you have to do is play around with the times, which that's the case with any microwave and bacon. So I think that the wow bacon definitely works. I understand there's some people that this may not be a large enough batch, that people that make mounds of bacon at a time, but I think most people, you, you can throw in the microwave for four or five minutes and then forget about it. There's no splatter, the grease is all in the cup. From my perspective, I think it's kind of an improvement over the traditional microwave tray where you put greasy paper towels in there that doesn't work that great so i definitely like the wild bacon i think that it works as it's supposed to in fact i'm going to give one of these away that's right in the description below i'll have a link where you can figure out how to enter but i will give one of these away um, in about a week so if you're watching this a week after the video is posted you missed it but there will be other giveaways i assure you so be sure to click on that so this is a fun quick video i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time Hey, look who came in here to eat some. It's the cameraman. Yeah, I came to polish it off. <laughs> the ex-cameraman. Are you still the cameraman? I, I, I guess know. I kind of helped you earlier. I don't know. Well, <laughs> he's kind of quasi-cameraman. He's trying the bacon himself. What do you think? Pretty good. It's hard to get bacon wrong. That's true. That is true. But it's pretty good. I want some.